A federal raid at a West Miami Dade home takes a deadly turn. Agents and officers are able to enter the house, but hours later, absolute chaos. This morning, one man is dead, and this morning we're working to learn the identity of that man. This as we learn more about what went wrong. CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer is live at the scene in West Miami Dade with the latest. Brooke? Well, Maribel and Keith, Miami-Dade police told us they were helping out the feds trying to arrest a guy in one of these houses here in West Miami-Dade when apparently that guy pulled out a gun that officers didn't even know was there. We have some video from yesterday, some tense moments yesterday morning as this is all unfolding. Federal agents and police officers pulling out their bulletproof vest. Paramedics were also seen running away from the scene. This is off of Southwest 19th Street. A senior law enforcement source tells CBS4 police had just put the man in handcuffs when he apparently started complaining about not feeling well. That's when uh, police called paramedics. They took off the guy's handcuffs, sat him down on the couch, and our source says the man grabbed a gun, tucked and hidden in the couch cushions. Police shot and killed that guy. His daughter, though, speaking with our team out here yesterday in disbelief. My father is a great man. <laughs> My father is a great man. <laughs> he is a heart of gold. <laughs> That's why I, I don't believe this. I don't believe what they tell me. And she told us the man's name is Hector. We're still waiting for more information, though, from investigators. Also, some questions as well this morning, of course, as to why police were even out here to begin with, why they were serving that search warrant, and why this man was in handcuffs. I'm live here in West Miami-Dade, Brookshafer, CBS4, this morning.